Hello everybody, Dajman here and welcome to Dead Cells. This is a game that I have wanted to do a let's play of since I did my first look and finally I think I'm going to get the chance to. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'll change back to save slot 1 and then we will delete our progress so that we are all entering it together. So for those who didn't watch my first look, this is a procedurally generated metroidvania with Dark Souls like combat. And to be honest, if that doesn't already do it for you, I can't help you. Alright, so here we are. We will proceed through the story. I will read this out for you. <laughs> Lost our head now, did we? Yes, it would appear that I did. Yep. Well, nothing to say for yourself. Oh, well, yes, I see the problem. I suppose you didn't think to find yourself back here. Nope. But surely you must have noticed. Noticed. You can no longer die. I still don't understand. It was like this with the others for a while. I don't know who the others are. What others? I've seen nothing. Okay. So we start off with a choice of two weapons here. The bow and the shield. And I much prefer the bow because I'm big on offense. And that is a door that we cannot afford to pay to open. It's a good start to the game. So, in case you're wondering, this is actually like my sixth time. I have tried to record this, but I've had so many technical issues, and I'm just a bit paranoid that this is not going to work. Okay, so there's a teleport. That's for us backtracking and figuring our way around. And the plus one skills, it'll raise our skill level, but we don't have any special skills just yet anyway. So let's get rid of you first of all. Those blue orbs are cells, which we use to unlock things for the future. Uh, we'll get to that in a little while though. So we're just going to go through this as I have done like five times up to this point. Oh, I like that. That was good. Oh, crap. Get away from me. I enjoyed that a lot, actually. Probably more than I should have done. Oh, that wasn't very good. So yes, we have a dodge roll, which comes with its own invincibility frames, and we've left a, left a whole load of corpses in the ground. So what is this? I found a rare blueprint. That's a, that's a good start, actually. So for a fire grenade. So I'm going to assume that sets monsters on fire. One more. Nope. Oh, that was bad time. The, the most annoying thing about my failed recording so far, actually, is that the last run especially, I had some amazing stuff unlocked. Okay, so we've picked up a skill. We can use that to increase our health, increase the amount of damage that we do with weapons, or uh, the amount of damage that we do with our skills. And I think right now, strength. I always go strength, man. The more damage you can do to monsters, the less damage they can do to you. Let's just get you. Pick up the money, of course. And yeah, I have. Since the actually, I said it in my first look video that I wanted to make a let's play of this, and I'm glad that I am finally, unless this recording messes up as well, finally actually getting to do it. Um, an electric whip, which um, does 114 damage a second and automatically targets the closest enemy. So we'll replace the bow like that, and a malachite for 250 gold. Sweet. All right, so there's a chest here. Weapon, good weapon, give me a good weapon. That's not a good weapon. Uh, flashbang. Inflicts 47 damage and stuns nearby enemies for three seconds. So, oh, second chest. Weapon, good weapon. That's a shield. I don't want the shield. Even enemies hit explode on death. Hmm. No, the shields, the timing is really weird. I'm not particularly good with them. Very good if you want to uh, block projectiles, of course. But yeah, I've I've used shields a few times, never been very good with them. So let's just move on. I want to go back here. See what's down this way. Oh, there's gold down there. So yeah, if you press down and jump at the same time when you're falling. Oh no! Get whipped! Get whipped again. Oh, that's a throwing knife. Stop that, asshole. 
So those guys have shields, obviously. Get him out of here. So this is actually going pretty well so far. We've been hit a couple of times, but it's been for stupid reasons. Let's see what's down here. Get out! Yeah, okay. Oh, what we got? A blueprint for a blood sword. Sweet. Uh, the promenade of the condemned. So that's the end of the level. Is there anything else here that I should check out? Um, the red bit is a shop. So let's go and see if there's anything that we want. To be honest, I don't think so, though. Um, twin daggers. Re I really like that weapon, actually. Uh, frost Blast, which freezes enemies, Grenade, and an Ice Amulet, which all the damage you take is also dealt to nearby enemies. That could be good. But right now, because this is our first run and we could die at any second... Oh, actually, let's do it. Let's buy that Amulet. Because the one that we've got, the Prisoner's Collar, does nothing. So let's do it. Because... If we come across a particularly tough enemy, I want to be able to take them out while they're taking me out. It seems like the best of both worlds. I'm going to get hit. There's no question about that. Okay, the Promenade of the Condemned. Put the door open. I wish I could open doors like that in real life. You again. Interesting. I am the Collector, and I'm about the closest thing to company you'll get down here. In exchange for the cells you pillage from your foes, I can provide you with a few useful items. If you uncover any blueprints, which I did, I may be able to provide you with some more experimental items. So here we go. Um, the two that we've unlocked have popped in there, but we can't buy anything until we unlock the healing potion. Which, if you're familiar with the Souls series of games, is basically an Estus flask. That's all it is. So, we've got six cells left. What do we want to buy? Um, I think, if you've also, if you've played Rogue Legacy, you'll know the value of keeping some of your gold when you respawn. So let's go for that. Yep, 25% of our gold. Now this is an early access, and to be honest, I think that's too cheap. I, um, I think 25% just for 5 cells is a really, really good deal. Um, so that I'm expecting to get nerfed at some point. Uh, everything you buy in here is yours forever. Not even death can take it from you. Simply put, if you want more power, then bring me more cells. Now, prisoner. Out of my sight. Your presence grows tiring. Cool. Uh, this door here does not open until you've used up all your cells. Okay. Health resource. So let's enter the promenade of the condemned. And... What are we doing? Cool. Then, here's the thing. Maybe someone can answer this for me. You have the option of opening the doors, which then subsequently close again. But, what's the point? I've not seen any advantage of opening a door yet over destroying it. So, maybe someone can tell me that. If, you, if someone stumbled across this video, maybe you can tell me. Get dusted, son. Oh, that was that was a lot of damage. But at least we saw the first. No, no. We saw the first item effect there. That um, he took the same amount of damage that I took, which was great. Come on. Get. I need to stop using the weapon. It's not that good. Uh, spikes, don't like them. The one downside is you, you can take damage just by walking or trying to walk past them, which kind of bugs me. So let's, there's nothing up there. What have we got down here? Anything? Anything? There's a chest, we'll have that. Good weapon, good weapon. A bear trap. Uh, immobilizes the target for five seconds and poisons them. Poison actually does quite a lot of damage, from my experience. Uh, it also 
can be very useful to check the walls. You have to watch the edges because you can sometimes find secrets just in case you're interested. Oh, a health increase. I'll definitely take that. You can certainly use it. Yeah, that's how to do that. Oh, oh, what's this? Let's kill him first. Those guys are really annoying. Okay, so this is Phaser. I wonder what that does. I'm assuming it's like a teleporting thing. What the hell happened there? Oh, I was getting attacked by something I couldn't see. Okay. All right. Oh, hang on. Is, was there something in the ground there? No. That's one of the fascinating things about uh, things about new roguelike games is that you don't know what you might have missed from previous playthroughs. What, what the hell is that? That that might be a little bit of a bug there. Get a load of that, son. Okay. okay. So yeah, it's because I have played this so many times at this point, none of this is a surprise for me. Right? So I'm trying to avoid spoilers for anyone who's watching this for the first time. It kind of, it makes it difficult to talk about anything. Um, what's down there? Mm, let's go. Let's go. This better lead to something good. Oh god. Oh no, what? Okay. Panicking a little bit here. At least there's a teleport back out. Oh, it's just a shop. Holy crap. Totally not worth it. Oh, hit the wrong button. Alright, back to the surface. Ooh, sweet. Um, what skill will we take this time? I think more more weapon damage is still the way to go. These are time lock doors, and we're way, way behind trying to unlock that. Six minutes. I... I happen to know what's behind that door, but I'm not telling you. I've only ever made it once, so I'm not going to say for sure that's what's, what's there every time. But again, part of the fun of a roguelike is discovering these things ourselves. So if you want to come with me... Ooh. Yes, health. And money. We'll have that. So that's good. We're, we're doing well on health now. I feel is definitely an important resource here. Yeah. Little bit of slime on the ground there, which we can tickle. No, for real. We can we can actually tickle that slime. Um oh that is a replacement whip. Yes, we'll pay the gold. Let's See, 196 damage over 164, of course. Oh, there's a hell of a reach that it's got as well. All right. Let's go. The music stopped. I hope that doesn't mean my machine's messed up this recording again. I'm a little bit disappointed that I've not had a better weapon since. Oh look, there's a slime. Look, look, tickle! <laughs> Which I think is freaking adorable, so whatever. Okay, here we are, and that, that skull on the wall there 
should give you a good hint at what's right in front of us here. What have we got? It's a boss! Or elite enemies as they're called. Oh no! There we go. Again, I've killed him about 10,000 times, so not shocking for me. The Vine Rune! The Vine Rune permanently gives you the ability to grow climbable vines. And anyone who was watching my first look knows, guess what? That is beautiful! My first look, I unlocked this right after I stopped the video. It was so funny. I was really disappointed in myself, but it gave me a reason to come back and play it again. I was stoked. So now, any of the slimes that we see, we can... We can turn into climbable vines. Which unlocks more areas of the map. Which means... If you remember... Let's get back to this teleport. The was this area over here which has one here and I think this this kind of like can I remember half of this stuff could be good for my really really awful memory try to remember what's kicking around back at the beginning of the level once you unlock something at the end because I do have the worst memory in the history of the world hmm do I want to go to the old sewers um oh I guess so yeah let's let's do it the old sewers so I've not really been much further than this so, from this point on, pretty much everything is going to be as new to me as it is to you. Ah, I am back. So, we've got Phaser. You teleport behind a nearby enemy. Damage of your next attack is increased by 150%. That is a decent chunk. We have 16 cells then. Um, I'm going to use it for the Twin Daggers, which is one of my favourite weapons. Um, which, this will increase the damage by 5%, so we'll definitely take that. And I'm also going to start working towards a second charge of the healing potion. Haven't had to use it yet, but you know I'm going to have to do it eventually. Let's do it, and let's charge up. Oops, I'm knocking things over in the seat beside me. I don't know if you would even have heard that. Okay, let's go! So into the old sewers. And what is this gonna... gonna give to me? So, I mean, we, we obviously can't touch the water. Goes without saying, it's a sewer for God's sake. Oh, this is... this is looking fun. Oh, one thing, I think I mentioned in the first look again, that you can do that dodge roll anywhere, including in mid-air and mid-attack, which I think is, is fantastic. It's like, oh, Jesus! What was that? Another elite enemy already. Oh, no, we're dead. We are dead. to heal. Can we just can we just stand over here? No, we can't. No, get out. Oh no, 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 no. I, I, this is not how I go. This isn't how I go. He knocked me quite a distance. So yeah, that is an example of a run in Dead Cells. Let's see what else we've got now that we're back. Okay. 
Back already. Cheeky. Well, it doesn't seem to be going all that well for you. And apparently not. Have you noticed how everything seems a little different each time? Well, no, because we've only done this once. One could think the island is alive. I wonder if... What do you make of all this? I don't make much of it. But what I do know... Is that this is probably going to be the end of this uh, this episode. I don't know how much longer it's likely to get. So we'll call it... We'll call it for now. That's been a reasonable length, I think. So, if you have enjoyed the video, please think about dropping a like or leaving a comment because it's all useful, it all helps. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But until next time, thanks for watching.